Warning! Bitag Live Morning caters to mature audiences. Topics discussed are particularly on hot, timely, current issues purposely intended for Filipino viewers and listeners worldwide. Discussions may contain language that may not be appropriate for some sensitive audiences. If you do not approve of the content listed above, please do not watch our videos. If you wish to continue, we strongly advise that you proceed with caution. Viewer maturity is advised. Alam niyo, sabi ho ni Presidential Spokesperson Ernesto Abella, etong budget daw ho ngayon 2017 is cholesterol free. <laughs> Of course, it's cholesterol for you. Wala na si cholesterol, senator cholesterol. Hindi na siya yung sinasabi <laughs> sa Senado. I just... Oh, anyway, uh, ganito na lang. <laughs> uh, kidding aside, I know, kilala niyo si senator cholesterol. Yeah, it's just, you know, just... Yeah. Oh, in the spirit of fun, we're having fun. Uh, please don't... Uh, shut up. Cholesterol free. Alam niyo mga boss... See, si Senator Laxon has, uh, you know, and, and, and still believed na ito hong budget would, uh, ito daw ito talagang uh, na may mga pork inserted, pork barrel na mga nalalagay daw sa, sa, sa Congress, Senate, and then uh, lately nagpahayag ho si um, Senate uh, President si Coco Pimentel. What's wrong with, uh, yun sabi niya, uh, what, what, what's wrong with the... Uh, what is this? Uh, pet project. What's wrong with pet project? Pet project are projects. There's nothing wrong with that. And I believe what's, you can recommend, you know, projects. And uh, as a senator or congressman, and uh, pet projects are called pork barrel. <laughs> uh, same banana, different colors because uh, the, the color is different. It's either red Green or yellow. I love yellow banana. But have you ever tried eating green banana? Have you tried eating red banana? In coloring, in peeling. <laughs> well, anyway, kung ano mang ibig sabihin ni, what's wrong with uh, having a pet project? There's nothing wrong, and I agree with you, Senator Coco Pimentel. As long as it's not cholesterol, there's, an, there's no cholesterol in it, and it's cholesterol-free. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, walang bahid na sinasabing uh, si Janet na polish. Kasi merong mga pet projects na isa-assign mo sa kongresista at sa senador at yung proyekto na yan, Kung minsan hihingi sila ng project sa anumang departamento at pag nabigyan sila sa project sa agrikultura, sa DPWH, which is basically suspect na maraming pork barrel dyan at itong uh, uh, the scheme of uh, pork barrels different from ito sa administration ni Digong na sinasabi ho ng ni Lacson, which is I tend to listen intently do I believe it depends? Because uh, you know you have the you, you have the same you know uh, majority of the senators and congress congressmen are very active. They're always they're also once upon a time yellow ngayon sila lumipat na sila. But you know the dangers here and the dangers are you know they they have the same attitude. They have the same mindset. They have the same behavior. They have the same attitude, mindset, behavior, attitude. All in all, they have the same character. Nagbago lang yung partido. We better watch out. <laughs> Kaya ha, tanong, what's wrong with a pet project? Ask, you know, by Coco Pema. There's nothing wrong with that because pet projects are projects normally proposed that's what you call bottom-ups budgeting. As long as it's coming from the people, it's being na paggaling sa ibabayan sa mga ta sa taong bayan, ibinulong, it binilapit isa sa kongresista at sa senador. Pinakinggan ng kongresista at senador kasi maganda yung sinasamang proyekto para sa taong bayan. Di yung proyekto na yun, walang problema kung yan ay sinasabing pet project kasi yan inaalagaan mo. Ngayon ang tanong, 
Ang problema kasi, pag pumasok na yung mga gahamang potok sa buhong, tama sana ng kulog at kita! Etong mga kongresistang dilawan ngayon, nagbago na sila, at ganun din yung mga senador na nasanay, na namihasa na sila, they can't live without pork barrel. Sila na mismo yung kontratista, yung asawa nila, anak nila, ipapasa yung kontrata, yung sinasabing pet project becomes a pork barrel. Sila na ngayon, masasacrifice, maja-jeopardize yung sinasabing kalidad ng proyekto kasi yung proyekto ngayon, hahawakan ng kongresista, asawa, kabit, kamatid, kamag-anak ng sinasabing kongresman o senador, doon sa sinasabing distrito or ciudad or probinsya, sila na ang may hawak niyan at pagkatapos dahil sila may hawak niyan pag binigyan mo for example 200 million pesos pet project ipapasa nila sa kanilang asawa kabit ka pamilya ka pusod ka patid lahat kasambahay na sa ilalim nila yun ang magiging kontratista at pag nagkontratista sa 200 million pesos sa sabihin 60% mapupunta sa kontratista dahil kay senator Gahaman kay congressman putok sa buho Sila yung sinasabing kontratista Dami lang yung sinasabing kontratista na nakatayo Kasi sa kanila yon Kaya sila may pet project Kasi may mga kontratista sila sa lugar Na dapat yung 200 million na yan Mapupunta rin sa sinasabing kontratista Sila rin yon Ang gagawin nila Mabababoy yung proyekto Punong-puno ng kolesterol Punong-puno ng baboy Kaya baboy pork Pork Hindi ba? pork barrel kasi binaboy baka at baboy ang ulam pero puro baboy puno ng kolesterol ngayon puno ng kolesterol na yan mabababoy masisira yung mga daan kasi 200 million ang binigay mo 60% ng sinasabing 200 eh ang mangyayari niyan 60% of 200 million Naintindihan niyo na ba? Mapupunta sa kongresista yung 1.2 million at yung 800 million nula na sa proyekto na baboy na! Baboyan na! Eh ngayon, sagot ko kay Presidential Spokesperson Abelia, wala ka nga ang cholesterol free nga yung sinasabing budget mo. Ang tanong, sino bang gagamit ng budget mo? E baboy eh. Punong-puno ng cholesterol. Kaya baboyan na lang.